Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today what I want to do is I want to put a battery I didn't use yesterday into uh, storage. So we're going to use the Sky RC to uh, do exactly that. I'm going to put the battery down to 3.8 volts using uh, using a battery charger that I normally use to charge these batteries. Uh, so I'll see you in a second. I've just realised I've got my cap on so I better get that as well. Okay so I've got my cap on now. got my coffee. Got my coffee, so let's jump into the menu of the Sky RC. Set this up, just switched it on as you've just seen, and uh, let's set the menus up, get them going, and then I'll put a bit of an eye collapse and then talk about it at the end. So we've got it plugged in, it's uh, 12.55 volts. Uh, we can go to A or B, we haven't got one plugged in on B, so we're going to use A obviously. Okay, so you press the little toggle button at the bottom, that takes it into there. So I went through this, uh, the menus on another one to charge lipos. Um, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go and have a look at that. But I go through each menu on there. So I'm going to add to charge 3S versus 4S. So we're going to scroll down to task, press on there. So I've got it currently on balance charge. So we need to move that down to storage. So press on there, and then what that does is, you can see there it says condition, and then underneath there, charge current, and then discharge current, which is two amps. So that's what it's gonna do. So this is a 2,200 milliamp. So kinda wanna discharge this around two amps. Uh, and then when you're charging this, you just put a dot between 2.200, so, so 2.2 amps. So what we're gonna do is hit start with this and get it going. Scroll down to the bottom. With its green start and then boom, we're off. So you can see there it's in red and it's now starting to discharge at the 17 watts, which is currently at 3 milliamp, 2 milliamp, it's gone up to now. So I'm gonna put this in a bit of an hyper lapse and talk about it at the end. Okay, so we're nearly finished as you can see. You can hear the fan in the background. Um, there's a built-in fan to this as it's discharging. It does kick in and it did kick in towards the end of the charge when I did the other video. So I do really like this. Uh, all three cells are 3.8 uh, volts. I liked how it ramped down towards the end ampage wise. So it brought the ampage down uh, of the discharge. So instead of doing 1.6, it dropped all the way down to 0.45 um, so I really like that so uh, I think this is brilliant now this is safe to just keep in storage until you need to use it again so uh, and the reason for discharging is um, health of the battery so if you keep this fully charged and leave it uh, in storage it will degrade the battery over time so this is the best way to uh, to use it uh, to its full capability of the battery so that's it for this one I hope you've enjoyed it uh, hit like, subscribe, hit me up in the comments uh, if there's anything else you'd like me to cover off um, or something I've missed, I can always revisit it um, and uh, I'll be seeing you on the next one.